I reiterate what I've said since I've become president, what every previous president of late has said, that uh, we, uh, we maintain the agreement that there is a one China policy and that uh, and I'm not going to uh, change that. That's not going to change. You and your administration officials have warned President Xi and China about interference in the upcoming elections. I'm wondering what would the consequences be if they do, in fact, interfere in the election? I didn't expect any interference, any at all. And we had that discussion as, as he was leaving. Look, do I trust you? I trust but verify, as it all saying goes. That's where I am. And, uh, you know, uh, we're in a competitive relationship, China and the United States. But uh, my responsibility is to, uh, to make, it, uh, make this rational and manageable so it, uh, so it doesn't result in conflict. That's what I'm all about. That's what this is about. To find a place where we uh, can come together and uh, where we find mutual interest. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was 68 hours of just face to face, just us and a simultaneous interpreter. So I, I think I, I know the man, I know his modus operandi. He's been, uh, we have disagreements. He has a different view than I have on a lot of things, but he's been straight. I don't mean that it's good, bad, or indifferent, it's just been straight. And uh, so, uh, you know, uh, we, as I said, the thing that I, I find most assuring is he raised, and I fully agree, that either one of us have any concern, Mr. Ambassador, any concern about anything between our nations or happening in our region, we should pick up the phone and call one another, and we'll take the call. That's an important progress. I also stress the importance of peace and stability in the Taiwan Straits. It's clear that we object to, be to Beijing's non-market economic practices and disadvantage that disadvantage American businesses and workers, and that we'll continue to address them.